Hi mate, are you tired of constantly getting head eyes? Yeah, I feel ya. Perhaps it would be a great idea to switch to a different game, which would be as hardcore and emotional as Escape from Tarkov is. Well, until a vibe happens in Tarkov, of course. Don't lie to yourself. No matter how much you hate Tarkov, you're going to come back here and continue getting head eyes. But before it happens, let's take a look at what other games you can explore. Spoiler alert. You won't need to be afraid of head eyes anymore. Some players say that Marauders is basically a Tarkov in space. However, that's not exactly true. Marauders is much more than just escape from Tarkov in the space. You're not just drop into No Man's Sky diesel punk adventure with a gun and told to crack on. Instead, you're put behind control of a spaceship in an alternative history setting and given the keys to galaxy. This is made even more exciting by the fact that essentially there are three different layers to the game. Space exploration, ship fighting and raids. Everyone starts out in space, where you and your squad pilot your way through a generated world, looking out for other ships or points of interest in the process. From there, you yourself find a target, and you dictate how you want your raid to go. You can go full space pirate and attack other ships, or you can dock at a near station and head on foot. While you might act like a rat and skirt around the edges, Every encounter you have, either with player or AI, on foot or in space, is entirely different. You can choose to risk it all and go in fully geared, or approach the things more cautiously, moving to points of interest using pods. To sum up, Marauders definitely share some DNA with Escape from Tarkov, but still, it feels like a distinct and original game. This third-person looter shooter is all about scavenging for crafting products and robbery of corpses of your victims. Like in Tarkov, you pick a loadout before delving around, and if you pass away, you lose all your items. Every player starts off with simply very clenched fists, but you can find tools and also equipment in desert homes, as well as frameworks. Short rounds and also fairly small maps of Vigor make for high action matches, which pressures increasingly more experiences as the timer ticks down. Just like in Tarkov, there is a meta game beyond robbery and also capturing. Players can take missions and develop a base where they are not playing a round of vitality, as well as you can upgrade your homestead, acquiring new skills and abilities with time. Vigor is often called a third-person Tarkov light for consoles. If you enjoy robbing gamers of their shiny gear and loot, then Vigor is ready for you. This hardcore survival shooter feels and looks like an arcade Tarkov. Gamers can gather loot and materials in a 25 square kilometer map, which can be saved in a personal stockpile in certain non-PVP secure areas. Like in Tarkov, if you pass away while you're around, you lose everything that you had. But if you're fast enough, you can return and take your things back. Of course, if other players didn't loot you yet. There is also light crafting and base building in that side. As soon as you have collected enough products, you can build a base or a tower any place you want on the map. It will make it easier for you to snipe other players, but it will make a target for groups of gamers as well. That side is excellent for those who love the realistic looks of Tarkov, but cannot deal with those complicated mechanics. Han Showdown is a dark fantasy PvP first player shooter with a horror of 1890s setting. You play as a hunter, and hunters compete on PvP server to defeat evil creatures. Enemy NPCs include zombies, monsters and giant beasts. Once you're on the map, you need to collect clues, set traps and track down the boss NPC beast. And while you're at it, you should slow down other hunters. Winners can take the bounty home if they escape through infiltration point. Those who die? Well, they lose everything. The old school gunplay offers small-scale engagements and slow-paced action. Most of all, the weapon animations and sounds are incredibly satisfying. But because you don't play with modern weapons, the combat is longer, rifles are less accurate and weaker, and defeating an enemy requires a few well-aimed shots. Moreover, you can play with a group of three friends and revive your teammates. Or you can go solo. Ammunition is scarce as well. Every bullet counts, which is a shame, because the monsters are out here to hunt you. The game has no other RPG elements. However, its permadeath feature alongside PvE and PvP makes it quite punishing. Hunt Showdown is far from Tarkov's realism, still the thrill of the hunt feels similar in both games. Hell Let Loose is another title on our list. It's a high quality and hardcore World War II multiplayer, offering various game modes. In essence, it has realistic battles in historical settings. 
Historical maps include World of Two scenarios like Saint Marie du Mont or Purple Heart Lane. Developers have created these locations with real life data. Gunplay is realistic and punishing. Immersive elements include real physics, weapon recoil, ballistics, proximity chat, and even dismembering. Also, held at loose includes tanks, airplanes, bombings, and artillery. That said, you pick a class and join a battle as a part of a squad. Teamwork across different roles is necessary. You could be playing as an officer, medic, engineer, scout, tank commander, and more. The goal is capturing tactical locations. These locations generate resources for the team. Ultimately, victory comes from breaking into enemy lines. Hell Let Loose is a realistic, hardcore PvP shooter with fast-paced battles, skirmishes, and large-scale conflict. This was the last game on today's list. But if you believe I missed any great games similar to Tarkov, please let me know in the comments and I will consider them when creating a second part of the best games like Escape from Tarkov. Also, it doesn't cost you anything to hit like button on this video, but it means a lot to me because it helps with YouTube algorithms, and I'll be forever grateful to you. Thank you and see you next time.